nine liters. The oil filter was about uh, 80. Total bill for the oil change alone is four. All right, guys, it is finally time for the Eco Diesel's first oil change. We've got about 10,000 kilometers and the oil life gauge says about 27% left on the oil lifespan, but we're about to head out on a thousand kilometer four day road trip. So I figured it would be best to get the oil changed first. We're gonna take the Jeep down to Paradigm Auto Works. They have got the oil and filter ready for us. We're gonna throw it up on the lift as well and do a tire rotation. And I'm curious to just see how much this oil change is going to cost me because Browsing around on the internet, I hear that the oil filter is a bit pricey and Chris did have to make sure he sourced the right oil for this diesel engine. So we're gonna see how much it takes, how much that oil filter costs. And uh, I'll show you guys exactly what I do for a tire rotation because I like to get that fifth wheel, the spare tire in the rotation so that it's wearing down equally as well. So let's hop into the Jeep and uh, see how much it's gonna cost me. All right guys, we are back at Paradigm once again. We've got the Jeep going up on the lift. Chris has procured the proper motor oil for the Eco Diesel. He had to do a little research to make sure we got the right one and uh, we got the elusive oil filter here as well. So how much oil do we need and what do we actually got to put in this? Why is this special and it says, expensive? It says nine liters or nine quarts. Nine liters. Ooh. And this is uh, the specific oil. There's a few people online that say that there is some other ones that you can use, Penn's oil. Yeah. But uh, this is for sure the right oil. So I want to make sure we're using it. Straight from Mopar. <laughs> Straight Mopar. Definitely the most expensive option. Oh, perfect. That's just what we need. <laughs> More expensive options. That's right. Uh, so we got nine of them. That's what they said we need. And yeah. then we got the oil filter was about uh, 82 or $85, I think. So here's the part number. Oh, if you guys are wondering, I won't dump that on the floor. So there is the actual part number. What? Are you vlogging? So we're gonna change out all 8,000 quarts or liters of oil here today. Like I was saying earlier, we've got about 10,000 kilometers on. It says there's 27% oil life left, but being on a brand new vehicle that we broke the motor in, we should probably change it before we go head out for another thousand kilometers of road trips. So we had to order this oil filter. They didn't have it in stock. Really? At either Dodge dealer on the island. Really? So, yeah. Wow. So there you go. So you may or may not be able to just pop down to your auto parts store and pick these filters up at this point, but uh, definitely we had to order that in and we appreciate all the help from the Paradigm guys. So does it still screw in? Like, yeah, it's just, okay. you just do the whole thing with yeah. the plastic. So. Yeah. yeah, I remember there was some Ford diesels a while ago and they used to sell it either or, and then they stopped and it was just the whole thing. Yeah. You just always do that every time. Neat. Yeah. That's a totally, like, yeah. I've never seen. The whole thing. <laughs> Never actually seen an oil filter that looks like that. I don't know, but I've never owned a diesel either, so. Special, we need to know about changing the oil in this. Pretty straightforward. Drain plug, put a new filter in. Put a new filter in. Okay. Filter's on top, so it's pretty yep. easy. Oh, is it? Where's yeah. the filter? Uh, it's just right around the other side. If you go kind of parts and installs, we got a tube the there. You can see it. Oh, right there. Okay, look at that. So there you go, guys. The filter is here. Pass me your light. Thanks. So you can see the filter right there. So that's a little different, having a filter on top. I've never, never had a filter on top of my vehicle before. Don't mind me. So does it spew oil everywhere as you take it out? Nope, it just drains back down into the block. Oh, that's kind of handy. So that's interesting. So you guys can see kind of dripped a little bit just because of that positioning leaks a little bit of oil down here on the control arm, on the axle, all over Paradigm's floor. So if you guys haven't seen underneath of the Eco Diesel yet, this is the emission system that I've been complaining about that uh, is very exposed. I've got a little bit of a skid plate right here, cross member here. I don't know what this, this is here. Thing here is that what you're talking about? Yeah, all this I, I don't know what they all are, but there's like a diesel particulate filter so and this back here. something else in there. Dustin knows all about it, but 
Yeah. Yeah, it's uh. At least it's under it, the crossmember. It's exposed and uh, doesn't out. like to be damaged. Saws all. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> straight fight. Sorry. Ideally, maybe. <laughs> Highly illegal in the United States, I hear. Oh, I've got this thing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so how should it look for diesel? Like that. Yeah, that's good. The diesel will look like that after you start it off with brand new oil. Because of the um, recirculation of the exhaust gases or? Just the way that combustion gas is yeah. down into the oil and yeah. just the particulates and stuff. Just like that. Is there a torque that we need to torque the uh, oil filter to on this? Yep, so it's 18 foot pounds, so I'm just gonna get it so it's pretty much seated. Yep, yeah. there we go, it's seated. Nice. So now let me go and grab the torque wrench. 18 foot pounds to torque the fancy oil filter in. There you go. All right, so we're just rotating the tires right now. I can't see anything. But essentially, what we're gonna do. <laughs> is Sean Sean's I'm gonna do all the rotation? But what we're gonna do is well, we want to get the spare into the rotation mix. So what I do is, and this is pretty popular, is I, I take the two rear like wheels, <laughs> I take the two rear wheels, move them straight forward. Then I'm gonna take the front driver side and bring it up onto the spare. I'm gonna take the front passenger side and put it on to the rear driver side. And the spare we took off is gonna go here onto the rear passenger side. And what that's gonna basically create is just a cross circular rotation of the tires so that they're constantly going into the spare tire spot and hopefully all my tires wear as evenly as I can in case I need to, you know, change one and use it. Pretty standard tire rotation. I think there's another rotation that's pretty popular but this is the one I use and that way I never forget exactly the path that my tires are taking around the Jeep. Now that's on camera, I'm gonna spill this one. Yeah, it's going everywhere. Perfect. So how many of those are we putting in? Nine, seven, eight and a half. Eight, eight and a half. Yeah. My goodness. You got a little bit left over. Max Pro Mopar. Back down. The oil change is done on the Eco Diesel. Now we we gotta go talk to Chris because he makes me pay. We gotta, we gotta pay for it. So let's go talk to Chris and see just how much 8,000 liters of oil and... Oh, not Chris. <laughs> that would be me. Do I still have to pay bills? Chris never made me pay bills. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just that mean. I have to pay the bills, unfortunately. All right, so how much is an oil change on an EcoDiesel gonna set us back? Well, the oil alone is $88.63. For yeah. eight and a half liters, nine liters? Sorry, for the filter. Oh, oil for the filter. filter. It's $88.63. $88, did you see that? $88 filter. Oh, the oil. Yeah, it's not very economical. <laughs> the oil is $27.09 per uh, container. Per liter? Per little jug. Oh my and God. there's nine of those that your car used. Wow. For a total of $243.81. In oil? Holy in, crap. In oil. So about $250 just in oil. Is it too car. late to return it? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, we'll wait. just drain it out, put the so bottle, go back. An oil change on the Eco Diesel costs over 300 bucks. Yeah. The, the total bill. Canadian. Is... It's Canadian. So like 50 bucks US. Fuck out of the video. <laughs> the total bill for the oil change alone is $419.38. 400 bucks. No regrets getting No regrets. So there you go, guys. Uh, oil change on the Eco Diesel. Oh, Actually. Like every 200,000 kilometers? No. <laughs> no. How often do you have to change it? Well, it was at 27% remaining at 10,000 kilometers. So under normal circumstances, probably like 12 or 13,000 kilometers. That's a lot of money, dude. Yeah, that's an expensive oil change. Savings are going right into the oil. Yeah, now, you know, I, I don't think you should have been here because now I'm never going to hear the end of it whenever we stop for fuel. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is a great day. <laughs> So, so far, so the cost to go 10,000 kilometers, we've used two jugs of DEF, which is 40 bucks, and an entire oil field worth of oil, apparently. So, <laughs> 
400 bucks. So there you go. But that's Canadian, so it's gonna be a little bit more than U.S. Yeah, but cheap. yeah, it's super cheap. It's super cheap down in the states. So. <laughs> They're so expensive. The filter's expensive. Why is the oil so expensive? Yeah, why is the oil so expensive? You have to get it from Mopar, right? There's no, there's there's no uh, aftermarket uh, yeah. filter. That's what we'll have to figure out. Probably by the next oil change, I'm going to guess that we would probably figure out a non-Mopar oil. All right, that was a pretty expensive oil change. We're going to have to figure out something for some cheaper oil for future oil changes with the way we're putting kilometers on the Jeep. Uh, let me know if you guys have found some options for changing the oil in the eco diesel or suggestions of where to look because clearly the Mopar oil is uh, a little pricey but huge thanks as always to the crew here at Paradigm Auto Works for helping me out and Chris for getting all that oil and oil filter in for me and finding it and making sure it was all the right stuff. Don't forget we're about to head out on our huge adventure to the northern tip of Vancouver Island this weekend. Sean from the Storytel Now is over here as well and we are going on a huge adventure. Smash the subscribe button, leave a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.